What's up, YouTube? This is Ultimate Skill 340 back again with another Destiny 2 video. So, um, in this video today, I actually wanted to give you kind of a build video um, and kind of give you what I've been running as far as my Strand Titan is concerned. Um, the reason being is because I actually recently learned of uh, uh, Banner of War actually did get a nerf uh, of sorts, and I didn't really understand Banner of War until recently. Um, and then I kind of made a build around it that I think is very fun and I wanted to share it all with you So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started um, So here as you can see I have the aspect Baron of war and then I have the Dranger's last right here uh, This will come into handy uh, come into play actually later on which I will ex uh, explain to you why uh, I choose the grapple melee for the unravel particularly and then also to coincide with the Baron of war you want to do is you want to go ahead and use your grapple melee uh melee somebody or use a finisher to start off banner war uh and then at that point you can use your class ability to use this uh to cc opponents uh, and it's really helpful in group play uh and then the exotic that we'll pair here is the uh avian leap which i'll uh, show you whenever we get to it uh in this way you actually have a lot of cc with this uh ability here in addition to the exotic uh, and then the Banner of War. Uh, ultimately, what you want to aim for whenever you start off any engagement is that you want to probably CC somebody using this ability here uh, and your class ability, uh, which you see here is Rally Barricade. Uh, you know, kind of get them down real low, either uh, use your melee ability, the Frenzy Blade, to start off Banner of War, or you want to use your um, uh, finisher to go ahead and start off Banner of War and then at that point you and your team should be able to continue to keep Banner of War up uh, And then you continue to CC people back and forth back and forth using this ability. Here are the fragments. Uh, we have Thread of Mine We have the Thread of Warding We have the Thread of Continuity make your suspend unravel and several abilities last longer Which in this build you actually will have access to all three using your grapple your uh, sever and then your suspend here, and then you will use Thread of Generation. Uh, due to the um, artifact mods that we have here, we are actually going to take the uh, ability here, the Unraveling Orbs, you're gonna be able to get Unraveling Rounds in addition to the Horde Shuttle. Uh, not only is Unraveling Rounds going to continue to proc on the other exotic that you uh, will have, is if you already seen the beginning of this video, you already know what uh, exotics I'm gonna be rocking here. But ultimately, you'll be able to uh, use your uh, this perk here to get the unraveling rounds, which will go ahead and continue to um, proc your um, not only this, but also to uh, give you thread of generation, which will be able to uh, help you get your grenade back faster, which is your grapple, and then your um, rally barricade due to being able to kill suspended targets and things like that. So in this way, you actually have a bunch of CC, high uptime uh, on your suspend, unravel, sever, uh, you'll have woven mail, and then you'll be able to continue to, you know, fuel all of that back into your abilities, and then kind of continue as normal. Uh, I'm not going to go into too much depth here. I'm going to go into uh, Quick Silver Storm. Make sure that you have this. I think this is an excellent weapon for this build. Uh, not only are you going to get the tangles, but, you know, uh, I, as you notice here, I did not choose the uh, over um, overhaul auto rounds here uh, simply because I wanted to be able to use this weapon in, you know, uh, engagements and then be able to proc uh unraveling rounds using this ability uh using the um uh, artifact mod here and so other than that uh, i'll just go ahead and show you what the rest of the things are here uh and then i'll show you some gameplay so uh you can go ahead and take a look uh and then you can go ahead and pause wherever you think it is necessary to see and then I'll go ahead and show you some gameplay so other than that uh, I'll go ahead and let the rest of the gameplay play out in the background if you have any questions comments concerns please let me know uh, I am actually very interested to hear back from you all as far as like what I'm doing right what I'm doing wrong uh, I do apologize the fact that I haven't been able to put out content real life kind of happens and all of that but otherwise you know uh, this old shield 340 sign it off and I'll show you some gameplay peace Finch, picking up some dense darkness readings nearby. I'll take the score that's congregating in that old war breeding ground again. Oh, yeah. Uh, mind taking care of it? Not at all. 
Heading in now.